Hello! We're going to get started. Uh, today is all about data. The theme for today is data. Um, what we're going to do, and you can probably do it right now while I am talking, go ahead and go to the bhacker.com website, go into the iOS or iPhone application development directory, and download SQLite database application tutorial. Get the solution if you think you might need it. And get the core data application tutorial. Get the solution if you think you might need it. And the uh, read and write to files tutorial. And get the whatever the solution if you think you might need it. Uh, so this is the three types of data that we're going to work with with iOS, and it's three basic objects here, um, objectives for today. Or we're going to start it today, and we're going to continue it next week. So we may or may not get through all of the data. Data there's three different tutorials, so let's see. So what do I mean by data? It's persistent storage. So you have an app, and you're going to put a telephone list in there, or you have an app, and you're going to put a to-do list in the app. Um, or an address book or something. And you're going to want to uh, save the data because next time you open up the app or next time you know, use your phone or something, where's my to-do list? It's gone. So we have three options. We can connect to a database that's already on the phone. It's a shared database component, part of the content provider of the phone. And that's what the SQLite tutorial is going to be. Or we could use this concept, which is a little bit older than a database. It's called core data. It's a core data showing in preferences. And, well, there's preferences as well, files. Uh, but there's this concept called core data. So we'll build a core data app that will use um, a different form of data that's not in the database, but the data is actually stored in, the, in with the app. So it's a different storage. I'll talk about that when we get to that tutorial. And then we can use text files. We can just keep everything in a text file. If we want, open up the text file in the app, read the data, use the data, and then close the file. So that's the goal for today. I wanted to take a brief moment and remind you about the assignments that are due for this course. Uh, last week, we uh, did assignment number one. If you hadn't noticed, I didn't mention anything about it, so I thought I'd mention it today. Assignment number one for this course says to build a simple uh, calculator, simple calculator program. And in the simple calculator program, you're going to create a simple calculator. We did one last week. So that can be used if you don't want to use that one, that's fine. If you don't want to use that one, you want to build another simple calculator. You could build a loan calculator. You could build a mortgage calculator, a tip calculator, any kind of calculator that you want. Just turn a calculator in. And then you got it. Now, in terms of the features, design your own. In terms of the user face, design your own. So it's all up to you. It's the only class where you can actually just pick out what you want to do and just do it. Uh, so that was assignment number one. And in assignment number two, <coughs> you're going to be building a tic-tac-toe game. And uh, the tic-tac-toe game is, again, another one of our tutorials. And you'll see it right here underneath. So we'll get done with the, we have this week, we're going to do the database, the core data, and the read and write. And uh, after that, next week, we do the tic-tac-toe game. So if you want to wait, that's one variation of the tic-tac-toe. Or you can start building your own tic-tac-toe game. You might not necessarily want to build the tutorial on your own, the one that's in the because we're going to do it in class. So if you build it on your own, you come to class, you're going to be bored. So do another tic-tac-toe game if you're going to do one at home. That way you'll have more activity to do and you won't be, you won't be bored because you would not have already done the tic-tac-toe game. The same process. So to make life more interesting to you. Uh, the tic-tac-toe game determines the required components and operations of a two-player mode game. That's what we're going to build. And it uh, uses Windows, creates a sub... Uh, Suitable display grid of 3x3 three three for buttons. We got an X, we got an O. You don't have to create a graphical one. You could create one with text. So you can have text on buttons if you want, or just text on labels, and you click the labels and they change to X or 0 or something. It's click events. Uh, so we'll see how it come together. Uh, so don't stress on that. That's assignment number two. Uh, next week, for those people who are interested, Bring your iOS device as well. Next week I'll set you up with developer accounts for 
loading items onto your phone. So if you have an iPhone, an iPad, a Mac computer, all you now need is a developer account. <laughs> so you get, instead of paying $99, you get a student account through ITU. And I give you uh, the ability, essentially, you plug in. Oh, I'm going to bring my device next week. You plug in the device, and you can run your apps and install your apps onto your device without going through the Apple Store. Because who's going to put it in the Apple Store right from the class? Nobody's going to do that. Instead, what you're going to do is test on the device itself. Because what's going to end up happening is after next week, then we're going to end up getting into some of the touch controls and the dragging and the dropping and the GUI stuff. Hard to work with that on an emulator. We well, can still simulate it. Don't worry about it. But after you learn about the core data, then you're, all of a sudden you're going to be thinking about all the to-do lists and everything else that you could possibly put together to put on your real device, and you're going to want to you're going to want to put it on your device at some point soon. So don't worry about it if you don't have an iOS device, if you don't have an iPhone or an iPad or something. Don't go out don't go out and buy one. That's ridiculous. Um, although if you're interested. The iPod Touch isn't too bad for testing. Very similar to the iPhone, and you don't have to carry service on it, the little iPod Touch. Those are popular. The older ones are popular, actually, for demoing apps on, because it'll hold the app just the same way as the iPhone will. Um, so I don't know. I don't really. I have an iPad Mini. I carry that around, but uh, I, don't, I don't carry that around. But uh, long story short, if you have an iOS device, we're going to start with that at the end of next class meeting. So, and then I'll continue that as we go through the course. But I'll try to get the first group done next week. So you have to bring your device with you if you're going to do this. So that's next week. Bring your device. Bring the cord that hooks it up into the computer. You need the USB cord. You also need to have a Mac ID, a Mac account. You have one if you have a MacBook and you've been logging into Apple to download Xcode, you have a Mac account. And that's a, an email address that's registered that you use when you go into the Apple Store. If you don't have that, you're going to have to create one. Or if you're using somebody's computer, it's not your computer and you don't know it, then write down what it is. It's all geared towards the Apple ID. So. And we'll run through that next week. Yeah? So cord and button, the same thing as the charger? Yes, the charger. The US, well, it's the USB connector that goes from your phone or from your iPad to the computer or to the power brick. USB. Your iPhone to USB because you'll have to plug your device into your computer through the USB port to put the apps on it, but also to register it with the Apple developer account that we're going to set up next week. So make sure to bring all those pieces with you next week. And bring a charger for it too, just in case. You know, you might have to charge up your device. <laughs> so if it doesn't charge while it's connected. Um, and then uh, we'll do that in the second part of uh, next week. What's going to happen the following is we have another holiday. We have President's Day again. It's not next week, but with the following week, we have another day off of class. This class has gotten so many holidays. It's, it's incredible. No. <laughs> Seriously, no. I didn't know this was going to happen. I didn't know this was going to happen, but we have another holiday. Anyway, uh, which means I'm going to set you up with your device so that over the holiday you could play around and put some stuff on your device and get everything going for you. Um, and so we'll probably end up doing the tic-tac-toe next week if I finish the core data today, but let's just see how long it takes me. It's already 20 minutes into the hour and I haven't even started yet, so let's see. All right, so for those of you who just came in or weren't paying attention earlier, you want to download SQL Lite database application. It's yeah? Not it's not working? Uh, okay, let me, let me just put it on the EMS then. Okay, hold on one second. Actually... Let me um, let me break this video up. Let me stop this uh, recording.